Yeah, he's right state in here in Savannah. Albany State gets ready to take on Savannah State. Albany State holds the all-time series record at 43-16-2. The teams have not played since 2011. Albany State got a 37-34 win against Savannah State. Albany State has actually won 15 consecutive meetings between these two schools. The last win for Savannah State all the way back in 1991. These two teams started playing against each other in 1932. Well, this one I'm sure a lot of Savannah State fans were waiting on. Albany State was picked to finish first in the in the East. Savannah State picked to finish last. Kicking off for Albany State is Gabe Bonlinas. Back deep, John Wilson and Anaj Carter. We're underway from Savannah, Georgia. That ball goes out of bounds, so not a good start. Not a good start for. Albany State as Savannah State will have it at its own 35 yard line. Quarterback for Savannah State is Devon Gibbons. This season, Devon has passed for 350 yards, five touchdowns, and three interceptions. He has rushed for over almost 450 yards on the season. First down for the Tigers. D'Angelo Durham in the backfield. So first down for the Tigers. And a play fake over the middle. Pass is caught by Cameron White. Cameron White makes his first catch, and he's all the way into Savannah State territory. And for Albany State territory, the 48-yard line, that's going to be good for 17 yards and a first down. So Savannah State comes out throwing on first down. And Gibbons with his first completion of the game. So a good start for the young men from Savannah, Georgia. Gibbons only threw the ball twice last week, two incompletions. The average coming into the game, just nine yards, just nine pass attempts a game. There's Durham, left side, first down and more. Oh, got tripped up at the 40-yard line. They're going to mark it at the 39. And a nice gain on first down. They'll bring up second down and a yard. Dante Devereaux, Major Bellamy Jr., and Joe Boykin are the wide receivers. Jonte Baker, the tight end. Durham in the backfield with Gibbons on the front line. Connor Vasher, TJ Jackson, Ali Ashafi, Dylan McLeod, and Michael Johnson as Gibbons gets away from pressure. Now throwing deep towards the end zone for Devereaux. That's over everybody's head. And incomplete. It will be second down. It'll be third down coming up. Albany State defense up front, Aaron Robinson, Cam Brown, Salik McCray, and Damian Rogers. At the linebacker spot, Walter Yates, Desmond Young. But that's a, that is a Savannah State's defense, Albany State's defense. Deontay Jackson, Brendan Manuel, Elijah Brown, and Malik Barnes. Along with Brandarius Rawlings, Terry Compton, and Stephen Stephon Pierre up front. Tyler Scott, Kamba Jones. Jalen Bush and Jay Boyd is in the secondary. And Cole with that carry. And it'll be good enough for Savannah State first down at the 37-yard line. Two yards for Cole. Second first down on this drive for Savannah State. And their first third down conversion. Paul and Durham in the backfield with Gibbons on first down. And they pitch it back to Durham, and Durham is tripped up. Nicely done there by Jones. Durham got back to the original line of scrimmage, but that's about it on first down. Second and 10. 12.54 to play here in the first quarter. Savannah State 4-3 and three on the season, 3-0 and oh in conference play. They've knocked out Benedict, Morehouse, and Clark Atlanta out of the East. Big game for Albany State as they try to maintain their pace in the East. 
with Fort Valley State. They're also 3-0. Gibbons off the fake. He's coming right side. Low is the shoulder and a nice tackle by Scott. They finally bring him down at the 32-yard line. Gibbons tough to bring down. And we've got a flag on the play. So we'll check that first. Before everything else goes down. Got a 32 yard line. Let's see what the referee calls here. It's forced line conduct, so that's going to take it all the way to the 17 yard line. And that's going to be a first down for. First down from the 17. So Savannah State off to. Great start on this drive. 12-20 remaining in the opening quarter. Durham in the backfield. Three wide outs for the Tigers. Gibbons. The pitch to Durham. Right side. First down. Inside the 10, down to the two-yard line. That's going to be first and goal. Well, mark it at the four-yard line. That one good for 13. First and goal. Tigers looking for the first points of the game. Bellamy and White come to the near side. Two receivers set. Durham in the backfield with Gibbons. Along with Julian Roberts, the H-back. Tigers looking to get it into the end zone. Durham goes in motion. Gibbons goes up the middle. Inside the two. Oh, big hit at the goal line. They stopped him short. Almost got in there. It'll be second and goal for Savannah State. He almost got it in there. So Three-yard game for Gibbons. Tyler Scott with a big hit there at the end. That kept Gibbons from getting in the end zone. Now second and goal from the one. Durham in the backfield. You know where this is going. D'Angelo stopped him early, but the second effort gets him in. Touchdown, Savannah State. Well, the Tigers get into the end zone as D'Angelo Durham scored from one yard out. Durham's sixth rushing touchdown this season. And a 10-play drive ends up with a Durham touchdown. Extra point now from Lugo. 10 plays, 65 yards. Lugo's extra point is up and good. So, Savannah State... With a good start, opening drive, they take it down the field, go 65 yards and just un over four minutes. Savannah State leads 7-0 on Albany State. You're watching SIEC football on Flow Sports. Back here in Savannah as this kick is bounced in inside the 10-yard line. We've got flags on the play as this is a big run back by Marquise Folks. As he gets all the way out to the 35-yard line, we're going to check the flag first. So Savannah State already up 7-0. But right now, we've got our, another penalty. Savannah State with 9 plays, 65 yards. 4 minutes and 8 seconds came off the clock. 4 minutes and 3 seconds came off the clock. So 15 yard penalty We'll make it first and 10 At the 19 yard line So the Rams Will have it there Deontay Bono is the Is the quarterback for Albany State 
completed 53% of his passes for 400, 324 yards, four touchdowns, and a pick. He also rushed for 116 yards on 36 carries. And the give is to McKinley Habersham, and Habersham with a good hand on first down. The Savannah native coming back home. It was actually a Habersham street here in Savannah as you come into uh, the back entrance of the campus. Second and two. These are the the two best rush, two of the three best rushing offenses in the SIAC. Final turns and gives it to this is this is Scott Tracy Scott. His first carry, he takes it all the way out to the 38-yard line, and that's good for 11 yards. So Tracy Scott with a good carry to start things off, and a first down for. For the Golden Rams. Ten minutes exactly left in the opening quarter. Scott and Habershev in the backfield. Buchanan, Thomas, Harvey, Arrington, and Pringle are up front. Mike Green, Javon Wooten, Rashad Johnson, and Christian Grant are the receivers. And this one out to a big hit at the end there by Desmond Young. That pass caught by Kajan DeBerry. He'll pick up a yard, but he had to earn every bit of it. <laughs> Second down and nine. Boy, that was a big hit there by Young. We saw Young. He was all over the field last week in that win against Clark Atlanta, 22-15 in overtime. John DeBerry, not a small man, <laughs> six foot two twenty-five. But boy, Desmond Young with a huge hit. Young had four tackles last week. We'll set the Savannah State defense after this play. Bono over the middle. Pass is complete. And that is to... Draquan Garmin. Garmin with the reception that time. He gets it out to the 44-yard line. That one's good for five. And then a third and three. For the six yard game. Got to get to the 40, 47, 48 yard line for a first down. Bono to throw. Holds it down. He gets hit. The ball is out. It's loose. Who's got it? Savannah State's pointing that way. I thought Bono's arm was going forward. They're going to call an incomplete pass. I thought so. I thought his arm was going forward on that play. Call it an incomplete pass. So it's fourth down. Let's take another look. Lionel pulled it, pulled it back, and, and right there you see the arm. He got he did get hit that time by Quan Harris, but Naj Carter going back deep to receive the punt from Belinus. Belinus averaging 34 yards a punt this season. Savannah State had a punt block last week. This time they get close to it. Carter makes the fair catch at the 16-yard line. So a good punt. A 42 yards and no return. Savannah State will take over. Oh, first down. All roads lead to Spartanburg, South Carolina for the 2019 SIAC Volleyball Championship from November 18th to the 20th. Follow the SIAC on social media at the SIAC for full coverage. Cross country championship was yesterday in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Benedict won the the men's championship and the women's championship. Won for the second straight year by Spring Hill. Congratulations to those two schools. We've got 8-10 to play here in the opening quarter. Uh, first down, here's Durham. Durham trying to right side, and he gets across the 15. He's back to the 18-yard line. Durham. So second and a long nine. At the 18-yard line. Three wideouts for Savannah State. Gibbons hands it off right side. Again, that is Durham. 
And D'Angelo takes it to the 21-yard line. It's going to be a three-yard game. It's going to be third down. Six carry already for Durham. He got the touchdown on the last possession after a 10-play drive. Third down coming up. Savannah State off to a terrific start. Trying to beat Albany State for the first time since 1991. 15 straight wins for Albany State in the series. Here's Bellamy coming to the left side. He is got, looked like he got the first down at the 26. And they'll move the chains for Albany State. As Major Bellamy Jr. gets his first carry of the game. And this is what this team likes to do. They will run the football. They do not throw the ball a lot. They average about eight pass attempts a game. And Gibbons, even though he's got over 20, almost 2,400 career passing yards, they will not throw the ball a lot. Bellamy again in motion. This time Gibbons will throw. That one tipped at the line and incomplete. Dangerous pass. As Devereaux looked like the intended target. Second and ten for the Tigers. Rawlings was close to it for Albany State. If he had paid attention a little sooner, he would have had himself a pick. Second and ten. Ball still at the 26-yard line. Here's Durham straight up the middle. Hit from behind. He's out of the 28-yard line. Yard on the play. That's the guy 27. It's going to be third down. Another yard for Durham. So third and nine. Not exactly a down in distance that Albany, the Savannah State likes to be in. Albany State number one in scoring defense at 15.7 points a game. Gibbons the throw. Steps up. He's going to run for it. Makes a move and a good tackle right there. Gibbons with the keeper. There's a flag on the play. Brendan Kimball made the stop. Nicely done. But we got a flag. Looks like they're going to decline it. Ball's out to the 31 yard line. So they decline the penalty. Face mask against the Tigers. So fourth down. He picked up four on the play. It's going to be fourth and five. Lugo back the punt. And back deep to receive it is Rashad Jordan. He's standing inside his own 30. So we'll stop by the Albany State defense. Lugo gets it away, and good point. That one goes out of bounds. And see, they mark it. They'll mark it right at the 30-yard line. Ball be placed at the 30-yard line. So, That's punt about 40 yards. Put no return. Next week, Kentucky State will take on Miles in the matchup in the West. A big matchup in the West. Other scores going on right now in the SIAC. Miles with a 13-12 lead on Central State. And Central State just scored. And actually they tried to go for two to take the lead and didn't get it. Fort Valley stayed up 20-12 on Clark Atlanta. That one to Scott. Scott breaks away. He's draggling tacklers all the way down to the 46-yard line. A 24-yard run and a big first down for Albany State. Tracy Scott goes straight up the middle. And that was nowhere. Juan Harris finally made the stop. But, man, that was a huge, huge run on first down. Morehouse up 22-0 on Benedict late in the first half. That is the other game going on right now. Other games going on in the SIAC. So first down, Albany State into Savannah State territory. And 
Bono on the carry. He'll run it. And he's got the first down and more inside the 30. Big hit by Harris at the end. But again, another big first down. I'll take it to the 27-yard line. And that is good for 19 yards. So back-to-back plays, back-to-back first downs for the Golden Rams. Savannah State, the number three rush defense in the SA. Savannah State, number two in rush defense at 88 yards a game. Albany State, number three in rush offense at 218 yards a game. So both teams are doing exactly what they like to do. Habersham, again up the middle, inside the 25. Give him three yards on the play. The second carry. Bring up second down and seven for Albany State. Jordan Wooten up to the top of the picture. Ralph Levette at the bottom. DeBerry goes in motion. Habersham in the backfield. And Habersham gets the carry. Coming left side. A lot of room. Inside the 10. And all the way down to the five-yard line, it's going to be first and goal. Big, big runs here on this possession. That one good for 19 yards. Another first down for both Rams. They've yet to face a third down on this drive, and it's first and goal. And the state making wholesale changes. So these two offenses finding some weaknesses early on. Two great rush offenses against two great rush defenses. Right now, the the offenses are winning. Habersham, can he get to the corner? Diving for the pylon. He's got it. Touchdown, Albany State. What a play by Habersham. The Golden Rams take it down. Habersham. The sixth rushing touchdown this season. And... Golden Rams are back in it. An extra point away from a tie. That was all done on the ground. Five first downs already for Albany State. Twelve for Savannah State. Six for Savannah State. The extra point is up and the extra point is good. So Albany State and Savannah State. Even at seven with 309 to play in the first quarter. All eyes are on the Eastern Division as the champion will earn a chance to host the 8th Annual SIAC Football Championship game on November 16th. Fans visit www.thesiac.com for official conference and championship game gear. Get your tickets today. Standings in the East really comes down to two teams at this point. Albany State and Fort Valley State, both 3-0 and in conference play. We'll take one more look at Habersham's amazing effort going head over heels on that one. Morehouse, Benedict, and Clark Atlanta all 0-3 in the East. Race a little bit tighter in the West. Miles holding the 3-0 record. Tuskegee and Kentucky State both 3-1. Tuskegee beat Kentucky State early this year. Central State 1-2. And lane 0 and 3. Two more weeks left after this week as Belinus kicks it off. This one will come down to Wilson at the 8. Wilson, room up the middle, cuts it back and got tripped and got cut down at the 31 yard line. And that is where Savannah State will start this drive. Got flags on the play. Got some busy, busy officials here early on. 301 left to play in the opening quarter. Got the ball right now to 31. And they're moving it up. So uh, legal procedure against Albany State. That's their third penalty. Already in the game, so first and ten. You know, Savannah for Savannah State, 36 yard line. Offside, that's the call. You know, offside the call on the kickoff, so Savannah State and Albany State tied at seven. And 
good field position for the Tigers. Givens hands it off. This one fumbled, and I believe Albany State picked it up. Yes, they did. Big number 97, Brendan Manuel recovers the fumble, and Savannah State ends the drive just like that. Handoff was to Cole. Cole's had, a, has had some issues carrying the football. That one down to the 34-yard line, so a fumble, and now Savannah State will take over. So I'm sorry, Albany State will take over. Well, the Rams take over from the Savannah State 34-yard line with 2.55 left to play in the opening quarter. Bono from the shotgun, hands it off to Hambersham, another big hit. That one made by Salik McCray. Hambersham picks up a yard and bring up second down. Sudden change, what's going to happen here? Savannah State pretty good by taking care of the ball. Plus three in turnover margin. Fourth best in the league. Let's go with tie for first at plus five. And we've got flags down. It's going to be another penalty against Albany State. And a flag comes in late. Yeah, I wonder if that was for the same thing. False start called all the Golden Rams. So add five yards to the distance needed. Second and 14. Back to the 38-yard line. Second and 14. And get to the 24-yard line. Spanish State defense up front. Aaron Robinson, Cam Brown, Sleek McCray, and Damian Rogers. Linebackers are Walter Yates, Desmond Young, and Christopher Smith. Corners are John Wilson and Brian Rock, or Naeem Bozeman. And that one another carry for Habersham and the 36-yard line. Two more for Habersham. It's going to be third down and 12. Brian Robertson and the Armani Ridley are the safeties. Name Bozeman and, Brian and John Wilson are the corners, starting corners. So this is the first third down that so it's the second third down that Albany State has faced so far. We come up on a minute to go in the opening quarter. Sun peeking out here. We've had overcast skies throughout the day. 81 degrees at game time. Here's Bono. Throws it at the last moment. It's incomplete. And that's a stop for Savannah State. Tried to hit the shard Jordan. Now fourth down. So the Lions will come in. Looks like it's going to come in to punt. So nothing doing for Albany State. They go three and out. And the, the fumble by Cole. Carter standing his own 10-yard line. Lions trying to angle it towards the corner. And it rolls down, and Bush, did he keep it in bounds? Yes, he did. What a play on that one by Jalen Bush. What a play. And that ball is placed inside the one-yard line. Wow. A 35-yard punt, and Bush makes the play on special teams. Eight seconds left. He let it go. What a play by Jalen Bush. Starting corner. Man. Dave Giardina and Sean Quinn, the head coaches. Giardina at Albany State. Sean Quinn at Savannah State. Both coached at Charleston Southern. We got flags. It's a false start. You can't take it back any further than it already is. 57 seconds left in the opening quarter. So it's 
basically in the books. It's a zero yard penalty. So it's gonna keep it first and ten. Looks like big seventy six there moves. Big offensive line moves. Could have been 75. Michael Johnson, right tackle. So first down, we'll call it a long 10. And Durham's got to get out of that end zone. He gets it out near the three-yard line. So good one, two on the play. Bring up second and eight. The penetration up the middle. Seems like both defenses now are settling into the game. After the uh, first few drives have been mostly dominated by the offenses here. This rivalry renewed here in Savannah, Georgia. Savannah State back in the SIAC. It's another handoff to Durham. Uh, not much going up the middle. And really, last week that was the case as well. Against Clark Atlanta, although Clark Atlanta was the worst rush defense in the league. And the third down. That is the end of the first quarter. And we're going to score. Tied at seven, Savannah State and Albany State. You're watching SIAC Football on Flow Sports. Back here in Savannah, Georgia, where Albany State holds a seven. So, well, Albany State and Savannah State are tied at seven. Savannah State facing a third and eight as we come back here to the Theodore A. Wright Stadium. I'm Kamari Darrington, along with James Crenshaw, our producer. It is third and eight. And the Tigers will try to make something happen here early as this second quarter gets ready to begin. Here's Gibbons on the run. He's tackled near the goal line. That's going to be a loss of three all the way back. Technically a loss of two all the way back to the one-yard line. So that was a rough possession for Savannah State. So a two-yard loss for Gibbons. Albany State should get great field position. Lugo's going to really have to boom this one. Lugo gets it away. It's a short punt taken by John Jordan at the 40. Coming to the right side inside the 30. Gets a big block inside the 20 to the 10. And all the way to the five-yard line, Lugo had to knock him out of bounds. It's going to be first and goal. Albany State, Ashar Jordan, with a 36-yard return. And again, Albany State in great field position. No penalties on the play. Usually on a punt return like that, you see a, a penalty. Great blocking on that right side by Albany State. That was clean. The last block right there sprung him inside the 10. So now, great opportunity for Albany State to take the lead. And give it to Scott. Scott is cut down inside the five to the three yard line. Chasing Scott with the carry. His third carry of the game. Walter Yates made the stop for Savannah State. Second and goal from the three. Three wide outs to the near side. Jordan goes in motion. And going for the option. Bono is going to be wild. <laughs> Wrapped up. Right back in the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be third down. Bono picked up nothing. Ridley was over there on the stop. Big third down coming up in this game. I really think that a 
lot of momentum here. The duel up here on this play. Brown of the throw. Lofting it towards the end zone. It's over everybody's head. And that's incomplete. He was going for Christian Grant, the tight end. But it's going to be fourth now. So fourth down, and the Lions will come in to try field goal. It's really the extra point distance, 21 yards. Lionel two for five now for six yards. Givens one for three for 17 yards. Snap down, kick is on the way, and Malinas knocks it through. So a 21-yard field goal by Gabe Malinas <laughs> makes it 10-7. So Albany State takes the lead with 12:41 to play in the first half. Coming up at halftime, lowmarching.com is the best marching content on the planet. Watch your favorite SIAC bands get down all season long on Flow Mate. Four players, two yards. Not a, not a long drive, but they'll take it. One minute, 21 seconds coming off the clock. So now the game is even at seven. 10-7 lead as Malinas kicks off. This will be Carter from the one. Fred the middle, cuts it outside, breaks a tackle, and he'll step out of bounds from the 26-yard line. He was ready to break one there. Did not, did not have enough room up that sideline. Great crowd. They expected to have about 4,000 people here. This is about, stadium seats about 8,500. But uh, looks like both sides are Oh, pretty well. well uh, performances by both the ASU Golden Ram Show Band and the Powerhouse of the South from Savannah State. Halftime at flowmarching.com and also right here on flowfootball.com. Week 8 in the SIAC, two weeks left before the SIAC Championship. Either Albany State or Fort Valley State will host it. Atlanta State trying to prove that they should not have been ranked last to start the year as Durham is hitting in the backfield. A host of Golden Rams are there. I don't know what you could call the Rams in any event. Play's finally over and some extra pushing and shoving at the end of the play. Durham lost a yard. Second and 11. Ten carries already for Durham for 30 yards. Gibbons fakes the pitch. Gets near the 30-yard line, a mark of the 29. It's tackled by Bush as an injured Golden Ram. Four yards for Gibbons. Oh, we've got an injured Ram, and he is writhing in pain. So number 91. That is Derek Davis, redshirt sophomore from Leesburg, Georgia, transfer from Georgia Southern. And he is favoring his left shoulder. Third and seven coming up. Standing up right now. Help him off the field. Savannah State looking for the third down conversion. Trailing by three. Eleven thirty-three remaining. Oh, this. Davis is all right. In favor of that shoulder. Not a doctor, but then gonna take him over there to the ASU sideline, trying to get him back into the game. 
It's third down. Here's Durham. Dread right the middle. This has not been much up the middle so far in this game. It's a great rush defense. And this pick up two yards, but that's going to force a fourth down. Another punch to do that. Let me state the number one scoring defense, number three rush defense. Savannah State number four. <laughs> scoring offense. <laughs> scoring defense. <laughs> number. Oh my goodness. I forgot my train of thought, man. That, that scared me to death. All right. In any event, Lugo. James and I are having a chuckle up here. We're having too much fun already. That one bounces. And it actually takes an Albany State bounce and. Finally down it at the 36-yard line. So we're going to at 35, so first down. So 34-yard punt for Fernando Lugo. We've got 10.40 left here in the second quarter. And again, you will see both bands, the Boulder Ram Show Band and the Powerhouse of the South. At halftime here, you can also watch on flowmarching.com. Speaking of that, the Honda Bell of the bands, the eight bands have been decided to compete there. I believe they're going to Atlanta for that uh, battle of the band. Here's Scott. He's had a big day so far. He's dragged down by Walter Yates at the 46. And another first down. Scott off to a great start running the ball. This is for Carey. Another first down. For Albany State. Scott already has four carries for 48 yards. Aversham and Scott, great one two combination in the backfield for Albany State. Scott gets it again, tries the right side, McCray wraps him up. They'll mark them back at the original line of scrimmage. So no gain on the play for Scott. First time that's happened. Five carries now for 48 yards. Scott Jr. from Greenville, South Carolina. The transfer from North Greenville. A good Gulf South Conference program. 374 yards and four touchdowns this season for the junior. Aversham, the senior from Savannah, went to Memorial Day School here in Savannah. So he's back in his hometown. So he's got a lot of fans here this afternoon. And on the pitch, here's Bono. Nice move as he gets it to the 46-yard line of Savannah State. And good for eight yards. So he's got a third and two. Big play here. Nine minutes to go before halftime. Third and a couple. So Man State shifting their defensive alignment. And we're gonna have a timeout taken by Albany State. So the Golden Rams called timeout. 8.35 left to play. In the first half, keep up with the latest news and updates regarding SIAC athletics by visiting the official website of the Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Conference at www.thesiac.com. Well, we've got some interesting news for your fans here. Central State got a 15-13 win over Miles. That's their first, Miles' first loss in conference play. That was a blowout last year, 41 to 20. But Central State comes back and gets it done as they beat Miles College. So that is a big story here in the SIAC. Clark Atlanta has come back and taken a 27 to 20 lead on Fort Valley State. That game is in the fourth quarter. And as they start the third quarter, Morehouse still on top 22 to nothing over Benedict. So some developing stories here in the West, it looks like Miles, Kentucky State is still in it. Miles at Tuskegee the following week could very well decide the West Division again. But 
Miles falling here today to Central State. Now, Albany State facing a third down. It is third and two. 0 for 3 on third down so far. 8.35 left before halftime. Scott in the backfield with Bono. And we're going to have another timeout by Albany State. 8.35 left in the second quarter. Flow Sports is the innovator in live digital sports and original content. Flow Sports streams thousands of live events on the network's 20-plus channels. Go to www.flowsports.tv to start watching today. Flow Sports will exclusively stream over 50 SIAC events this season. And again, don't forget, at halftime, Flow Marching State and the powerhouse of the South from Savannah State. We got to see the powerhouse of the South for the first time last week. They're at Clark, Atlanta. An outstanding band. Looking forward to their homecoming performance here at halftime. So now, third and two. So back-to-back -back timeouts by Albany State. Let's see what they do here. DeBerry, here to the near side. Maul Grant, so they got both tight ends in. Tracy Scott is the back. Third and two. Grant goes in motion. Bono going to throw for it. He stops. Gets it away. It is incomplete. Nicely done. That big play in the backfield. Tried to hit Christian Grant. It's going to be fourth down. And Albany State is lining up to punt. You never know. The drive stalls at the 46-yard line. Carter back at his own 10. Linus, his third punt. And here it comes. Spirals out of bounds. And uh, it actually goes into the end zone. That'll bring it back out to the 20-yard line. 8.25 left to play here in the second quarter. In a football game, you usually get 12 possessions. Each, each side gets 12 possessions. In the Savannah State game, you get down to about 10 possessions because they run the ball just about every play. And Albany State has run the ball just about every play here as well. So already see the number of possessions lowering. Is efficiency is going to be the key here this afternoon. Right now, Albany State holding a 10-7 lead. Savannah State came up throwing on that first play. I think it surprised everybody, including me. So we'll see what they do here. Jamarion Hartage is in right now at quarterback. He's a backup quarterback. He throws it. He got undercut. That one good to Carter. And Carter is hit. So that one good to the 23-yard line. That one good for three yards on the play. Jamarion is a... Freshman from Forsyth, second and seven on the way. So hard to gin on this drive. Ron Giddings standing on the sideline with his helmet on. So right now, Hart is just in the game right now, trying to make something happen. Durham in the backfield. Hardish takes it across the 25. Mark it at the 27. Actually, just past the 27. Mark it at the 27. Four yards on the play. Third down. A long three. Tigers so far, two for five on third down conversions. move here by Quinn going with the backup quarterback right now. Hartage has just thrown just three passes all season. It's Hartage and tries the left side. There's no room to run. That was quickly clogged up. Pierre and 
was there on the stop. And Hartage gets to the 26, so he lost a yard on the play. Deontay Jackson also on the stop. So fourth down, so both teams trading punts right now. We'll go back again. And Jordan, who had a 36-yard return earlier, has it standing at his own 35-yard line. Fourth punt for Lugo. Three and out for Savannah State. Lugo's punt was almost blocked. I actually think somebody might have got a hand on it. And Jordan lets it bounce, and he got a nice one as it gets all the way down inside the 25 to the 24 yard line. So Albany State will take over there with 5.48 left to play in the first half. The SIAC is the first NCAA league to have a league-wide apparel deal with Nike. Fans can get official Nike conference gear at www.thesiac.com. Albany State fans, you can get your school's gear and the official athletic website, asugoldenrams.com. Savannah State fans, get your school's gear at ssuathletics.com. Great to have you with us on the overcast Saturday. We've had rain, a little bit of rain. We've had the sun peak out. But right now, 548 left in the quarter. First down for the Rams. And the pass is complete to Jordan. Jordan able to break it to the outside. He's down the sideline. Watch out. Near midfield. They'll mark it at midfield, and that's going to be a 26-yard gain for Jordan. So Bono has not thrown the ball a lot. That one good for 26 yards, so Jordan with a big return. And now Jordan with a big return and a big pass play. It's going to be first and 10. Mark it at the 49. Almost good for 27 yards. Ronald turns, looking to throw, gets it away, and that pass is incomplete. Second down. One more look. Heavy pressure by Savannah State. Tigers are third in the SIAC with 17 sacks on the season. So they can get to the quarterback. And Bono got, the, got rid of that one. I'm sure he's happy that he did. So second and 10, 509 remaining before halftime. Great crowd on hand for Savannah State's homecoming. Right now the Golden Rams up by three. And off straight up the middle, Habershab. Breaks it outside, all the way down to the 30-yard line. 19 more yards for Habersham as he comes back home and picks up another big first down. Only good for 19. He's got 57 yards on seven carries. Kenley Habersham, Memorial Day School here in Savannah. He has got to be pumped up with being back home. So first down for Albany State at the 30. There's Jordan in motion. They handed to Habersham. He is cut down. They'll stop him at the 29. So a yard on the play. Each team scored a touchdown in the first quarter. Habersham scored from five yards out. D'Angelo Durham with a one-yard run. Right now, Gabe Linus' 21-yard field goal early in the second quarter is the difference. It is a 10-7 lead for Albany State. Four minutes left in the quarter. And the sun drapes over Wright Stadium. Bono over the middle, incomplete. Tried to hit Wooten. Ridley was there on the coverage. And it'll be third down. Albany State so far 0 for 4 on third downs. They're facing another one here. Big play. 3.52 left before halftime. Albany State up 10 0. 10 7, I should say. 
Savannah State trying to go to each team trying to go to four and zero in conference play for the victory this afternoon. Bono to throw, steps up, has room to run. Now gets rid of it towards the end zone. It is caught, but it's out of bounds. Love it made a terrific catch. It's <laughs> Albany State. The rest of the Albany State players are excited, but that was out of bounds. What a play by Love it, even though it would not. It will not count. Take one more look. That was an amazing catch. Bono got it away. And watch this effort by Bono. Bozeman was on the coverage and too far out of the end zone. So now Belinus is in. They have it at the 29. And they're putting the ball down. Looks like he's going to try this field goal. It's going to be from about 47 yards. Chance for Albany State to add to the lead. Snap is down. Kick is on the way. It's turning. And he got it. A good field goal for Bolinas. And Albany State takes a 13-7 lead on Savannah State with 3.33 to play in the first half. Savannah State founded in 1890. A woman of 3,800. Savannah State celebrating its 117th year of football here on the campus of Savannah State University, formerly known as Savannah State College. And of course, this wonderful stadium here in Savannah. Seats about 8,500. They expected over 4,000 today. I got a feeling they passed that mark here this afternoon for homecoming weekend. Shannon Sharp, the most famous football player at Savannah State. Great tight end with the Broncos and the Ravens, and now one of the most colorful personalities on television. And he's really good on Twitter, too. Linus kick will go into the end zone, and they'll let Carter bring it out, and here he comes. Oh, big hit at the 22-yard line. Mark it at the 23, and that's where... Savannah State will start this offensive possession. At 3.27 left in the quarter. Savannah State. Trying to make it happen here. 3.27 left. Don't forget, at halftime, we'll have both bands. The Albany State Golden Ram Show Band and the Powerhouse of the South. You can watch it here on flowfootball.com or you can go over to flowmarching.com to watch the halftime performance. And you can also go back and watch other performances throughout the season. With the SIAC, Harder's still in at quarterback and he hands it off to Durham. And Durham takes it up to the 25 yard line. Angelo had 94 yards, 99 yards last week and the game winning touchdown in overtime. In a game that swung back and forth, each team had the lead again in Clark Atlanta 0-7. Today, though, they're leading. And now the game is tied with Fort Valley State. There's the pitch to Bellamy. Belly left side. Got the first down and more. It's gonna might come back as Bellamy was dragged down to the 36-yard line. Bellamy flags it down, and this might be coming back. It's going to be a hold against Savannah State. There it is right there. As, uh, it's like one of the receivers out there. Let's see how this one shakes out. Cameron White. So it's second and 15. Got to get to the 33-yard line. 
So after the penalty, second and 15, take the 11 yards off the, the board for Bellamy. That was a nice play call. So they try it again. On the end of the Durham up the middle. He's got it. D'Angelo Durham, first down and more, all the way out across the 40. Angelo Durham gets every bit of it back. That one good for 22 yards as they stop him at the 40. Jalen Bush made the stop. First down, Tigers. Big first down for the Tigers. They've been shut out of first downs here in the second quarter. Three consecutive punts. 2.13 left in the quarter. Low snap, but then it's going to be a false start against Savannah State. Caught on Bellamy. There it is. So I had five yards, first and 15 for Savannah State. Back to the 35-yard line after the penalty. Third penalty on Savannah State. Hardage pitches it to Bellamy down the sideline. Bellamy cut down near midfield. They'll mark it at the 48-yard line. That's going to be good for 13 yards, another first down. Savannah State doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> so that's second down, so it's not a first down. I'm good for 13 yards. To the 48. Hardage, straight back, under pressure. He is got out of it somehow. He's still going. Look at the run by Hardage. He's got the first down. My goodness. What a play. JT Hartage with four of the toughest yards he's probably gotten his entire career, but it's good enough for a first down. 107 left. Savannah State has all three of their timeouts. Final minute of the quarter. Savannah State looking to take the lead. Durham straight up the middle. And Durham down to the 46-yard line. Got to think that Savannah State's going to start calling timeouts. There's, four, there's the first one. As Durham picks up two yards. He's already got 14 carries in his first half for 58 yards. And got a flag now before all that. 43 seconds left. So hold the phone. Sort off this out. So it looks like it's going to go against Savannah State. Well, let me see first. Well, it's going to go. Oh, wow. Well, personal foul against the Golden Rams. That's going to be a first down as they take it all the way to the 31 yard line. Well, that's a killer penalty. If Savannah State is able to score here. And Savannah State does call timeout. 43.1 left. In the first half. And you want to update you on scores going on right now. Fort Valley State and Clark Atlanta tied at 27. Clark Atlanta involved in another tight battle. Seven minutes left in the fourth quarter there in Atlanta. Meanwhile, also in Atlanta, right across the street at BT Harvey Stadium, Morehouse with a 22 to six lead on Benedict. That is into the third quarter. And also, Kentucky State, 12 to, 12 to nothing winners over Edward Waters. They are five and two going into Miles next Saturday. That is gonna be a huge game in the West as Kentucky State with a terrific season. Coming in, they lost, they did not win a single game last year. They are five and two this year, and poised to win the West if they can get some help from Tuskegee and Miles. 
the next couple of weeks. So a lot of developments here today. Of course, Miles losing to Central State 15 to 13. So really opens things up in the West for Tuskegee and Kentucky State. So from the 32, first down. And we got another we got timeout taken by Albany State. Another timeout. This one taken by the Golden Rams. They're out of timeout. Savannah State is down to two. So the next two weeks, big games to the side of the West. Kentucky State is at Miles on November the 2nd. You'll see that game right here on Flow Sports. The game is scheduled to start, I believe, at 3 p.m. Eastern time, 2 o'clock at Miles. And then November the 9th, Miles at Tuskegee, a game that was actually added to the Flow Sports schedule. So we're going to have Benedict at Lane, but... It's now going to be Miles at Tuskegee, and that game could should very well decide could very well decide the West if uh, Kentucky State loses that Miles next week. So that was a big result today in the SIAC. Uh, Central State gets a huge win in the rain and the slop at McPherson Stadium up there in Ohio. So you also got to see that game today on Flow Football. All right, big opportunity for Savannah State. They've got 43 seconds to work with. And a first down at the 32. Hardest, Jake T. Hardest, the quarterback. And he will run it up the middle. Slides down to the 25. And JT picks up about five. And they'll clock it. It'll be third and five. 28.2 left. We didn't have enough time to <laughs> change it down the distance at the, after that last play, that first play. You got to give me time here. Now the 26-yard line, six yards for a hardage on the play, and then they spike the ball. Man, I wonder if they're going to have yeah, – I think they started the clock too early. The clock should be around 28 seconds, shouldn't it? Let's see what they move it back to. I believe it was about 28 seconds left when Hard to spike the ball. And that's where they've got it now. So 28 seconds. And a lot of these stadiums have a tenth of a second on there. So it really doesn't matter really that much. A tenth of a second. And of course, most of these stadiums now just don't use tenths of a second. But these old high school, old school stadiums, they have tenths of a second on there as well. So third and five, got to get to the third and four, they got to get it to the 27-yard line. Sorry, the 22-yard line. Drum in the backfield. And what do we have here? I think they're going to call Bellamy for a false start. He kind of started to go in motion. Oh, they took too much time. That was a big penalty. Take it back to the 31-yard line. That's a big penalty. Because now makes it third and nine. Durham in the backfield. Off the play fake. Hardage looking. Right side. Bellamy's got it. Good block there. Inside the 25. Still down the sideline. And he's out of bounds inside the 20. They mark it at the 18. It's good for 13 yards. And that's going to be a first down. Bellamy with another catch. The transfer from Georgia Military College. Coming up with a big play right there. Clock running now. Well, actually went out of bounds. The clock stopped at 20 seconds. Hardage. It's dumb. Left side. Inside the 10. Makes another cut. Press the tackle. Touchdown, Savannah State. D'Angelo Durham did it all right there. 18 yards, and the game is tied. And 
go now. We'll try to get the extra point and try to give Savannah State a one-point lead late in the first half. Gibby's the holder. A good drive by Hardage. Helped out by that personal foul penalty. And now Lugo, his extra point is up, and it's good. And Savannah State takes the one-point lead with 14 seconds remaining. And Durham with his second of the day and his seventh of the season. Don't tell Savannah State they can't play for a championship this year. They feel like these next two weeks they have a lot to prove as they host both Albany State and Fort Valley State, the two teams that are in front in the East Division. Also later today, Tuskegee will take on Wayne in the Whitewater Classic. That game is in Phoenix City, Alabama. That is later today. So we've had a couple of results today. And this one, we got more fireworks in the SIAC. We've had some incredible games. This one's shaping up to happen in that fashion as well. This crowd, the Savannah State side of the here, Theodore A. Wright Stadium is pumped up, as they should be. Their team finally broke through that running game. Hardy made a couple of big plays, and now Savannah State is in the lead. That one taken by one of the up backs, 31-yard line. Tavian Brooks with the Tavian Brooks there to catch it. So balls at the 32. 12 seconds left. Let's see if Albany State tries anything. They're out of timeouts. And they might just take a knee and take it on in. Albany State will get the ball to start the third quarter. Twelve seconds. Albany State. So they're going to try to do something here on this first down. Remember, no timeouts left for the Golden Rams. Here's Scott, right side, and is dragged down by Robinson at the 34-yard line. Another carry for Scott. He's got five, six carries for 50 yards, and that will do it for the first half. At the end of our first half, Savannah State, 14. Albany State, 13. Coming up on... FlowFootball.com and FlowSports.com, we will have the halftime show. This is SIAC Football on Flow Sports. Welcome back here to Savannah, Georgia. Right now, our score at halftime, Savannah State 14, Albany State 13. Right now at halftime, they're introducing the homecoming court. Uh, Interim President Kimberly Ballard, Washington there. And a little over uh, right there at the 45-yard line. And they're introducing their homecoming court at this point. Coming up, we will have the presentations from the bands here at Theodore Eight Wright Stadium. Enjoy halftime. Mr. Senior, Matthew Green is a business accounting major. His junior is Kamari Moore, a business marketing major. Mr. Junior is Tyler Hodges, a business marketing major. Sophomore is Tabina Heath, a biology major. Mr. Sophomore is Fonay Tarawani, a civil engineering major. The freshman is Asia Cannon, a biology major. 
is the freshman is Jeffrey Davis, a business marketing major. This year's SSU National Alumni Association player is Miss Cynthia Hillary Jackson, a 1990 graduate and a member of the South Dakota Women's Chapter. The National Alumni Attendant is Miss Ruby Hall, a 1994 graduate and a member of the Savannah Chapter. The next national attendee is Dr. Aisha Fulton, a 2010 graduate and a member of the athens Clark County chapter. This year's Duran Grand Marshal is Representative Edward Mickey Stevens. Tiger fans, please give a round of applause for all of the honorees at this year's homecoming presidential party. Stadium, we've got the Albany State Golden Rams Show Band.
Jackson dance to All Right by Janet Jackson. State Golden Rams show band in just a moment. Savannah State's powerhouse of the South will take the field. We're watching our halftime show here as Albany State takes on Savannah State on FloatFootball.com and FloatMarching.com. I want to update you on some scores here before Savannah State gets going. Right now, Fort Valley State a 34-27 on Clark Atlanta. That is late in the fourth quarter. Morehouse of 28-13 on Benedict. 
That is in the fourth quarter. Right here, we're up 14 13. Savannah State on top of Albany State. Right now, Savannah State's powerhouse of the South is ready to take the field. Today's halftime show is dedicated to the memory of our beloved band member and student of Savannah State University, Mr. Savon Rose, who has been the past two lives. He has truly been this this academic year. This is the band, Mr. Derek K. Yates, Mr. Arranger, Brian Lowes, High Brass Instructor, Cordell Hall, Coordinator of the Rotary Unit, Deanna Satchel. Presenting the drum major of the powerhouse of the South, the head drum major from the Decatur, Georgia, Johnny Kenzie Hamilton, assistant drum major, Denzel Roberts, Lithonia, Georgia.
both teams get ready to start the second half here at the Savannah's Theodore 8 Wright Stadium. I'm Kamari Danson. James Crenshaw is our producer. And uh, we had a great first half of action. State 167 total yards in that first half. Savannah State 148. Savannah State 10 first downs, seven in favor of the Tigers. But the one turnover, the, the fumble by C.J. Cole, uh, was able to allow Albany State to take the lead. And uh, those are your first half stats here on Flow Sports. Albany State, Savannah State, Tigers leading five points. D'Angelo Durham two touchdown runs in the first half. Got 15 carries for 76 yards. Kenley Hamburg there, 9 carries for 68 yards in the first half. Ball the next day. Amateur 5 yard run there. Tied the game at 7. Two field goals by Gabriel Belinus. One for 21 and one for 47 yards. That's where we are at. 14 to 7 score. Fort Valley State did finish off a 34-27 win over Clark Atlanta. Another close loss for the Panthers. Panthers now 0-8 on the season. Fort Valley State sitting at 6-2. Going into next week's matchup with Savannah State here in Savannah. That'll be next weekend. Morehouse finishing off a win over Benedict. It'll be their first conference win of the year. 34-13 is the lead in the fourth quarter. Lugo will kick off for Albany, well, Savannah State. Albany State will start this second half with the ball. As, uh, that is taken by number 41, Christian Murray. And he takes it up to the 30, uh, we'll mark it at the 35-yard line. That's where Albany State will start this first offensive possession of the second half. One-point lead for Savannah State. Tigers trying to each team trying to go to four and zero on the season. Albany State five and two, Savannah State four and three. Albany State trying to extend a five game win streak and a fifteen game win streak over Savannah State. Savannah State trying to get its first win over Albany State since 1991. On first down, Bono down the middle. That Grant had him open. That pass incomplete. Christian Grant. Was the intended target? Maybe a second down. Bono three for ten in the first half for 33 yards. Big catch by Rashard Jordan for 26 yards. That was a big part of that first half for Albany State. It's been the running game for both teams that have been the story, as we expected coming into this game this afternoon. Left side is Hambersham. Broke out of the tackle by McCray, and then Yates finally wraps him up. Watch out. And we've got some extra pushing and shoving after the play. DeBerry and McCray getting together. In any event, they mark it at the 37-yard line. That's about a two-yard gain, and we're bring up third down. Don't need any of that. This has been a very good game so far. We're going to make it a... Third seven. Oh, Tigers, it's third down. Tigers, Golden Rams with 0 for 5 on third downs in the first half. They're looking at a third down right here. Line of the throw under pressure. Rodgers gets him. Inside the 35, 32 yard line. And it's going to be fourth down. 
And Savannah State adding to its sack total. Loss is six on the play. Well, that is the punt. This will be his fourth punt of the game. Carter standing in, inside his own 25. Tigers a good start here at the second half. Runs that kick almost blocks, spiraling punt, and Carter takes it inside his own 20. Makes a move. Flags are down, gets a block. That's going to be another flag. Carter out there midfield, but it's going to come all the way back. Big block right there by the quarterback, Hartich. But it's not, it's going to go for not. Good return. That one actually on the side. I thought that they were going to let that one go. There were two flags on the play. The first one, they had the, they had the first one to block in the back. And then Harder with a big hit at the end. That block right there looked like it was clean. They both look clean. Now the officials are discussing it. As fans throwing, as uh, the SSAC street team throwing souvenirs into the crowd. SSU street team, I should say. So now, officials sorting this out. calling this game because right now had the ball at midfield flag came in there are two flags one inside the 30 one inside the 25 Sean Purdy's the referee today he's been a busy man on the microphone today he'll have to turn it back on again Tigers up by a point. See where they'll start this next possession. Still talking. A lot of discussion here with the officials. Well, mind you, once again, all roads lead to Spartanburg, South Carolina for the 2019 SIAC Volleyball Championship from November 18th to the 20th. All the SIAC on social media at the SIAC for full coverage. Got a disqualification. One of Albany State's players. So there were two unsportsmanlike two, 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 two personal foul State penalties State against Savannah State, State then a, a dead ball targeting foul. And I don't know if they said 32. So the ball now will be at the Savannah State 29. So after all that madness, Savannah State will have it. So Savannah State gets a 15-yard penalty for the legal block. Then a 15-yard penalty and an ejection against Albany State for targeting. So 13.07 left in the third quarter. First down. First and 10, 13 on 7 left to play. We'll switch the footballs. And Hartage is, uh, let's see, 
Carter just back out of quarterback. Getting still on the sideline. Carter goes in motion. They flip it to him. And they fake the reverse. And Carter can't get to the side. Good play there by Boyd. Boyd. Miles Carter. No gain on the play. And it'll be second down. Number 10. So that is called a pass. Carter. Second down and 10. Durham in the backfield. And they'll give it to Bellamy. Bellamy, right side. Nice gain here on second down to the 38 yard line. Short of the, short of the marker by a yard. Nine yards for Bellamy. Third in the yard. Tigers were three for seven on third downs in the first half. Just underway here in the second half. Three minutes gone by. Quick huddle here for Savannah State. Now Gibbons back in, and I think this is going to be. We're going to have a timeout taken by Savannah State. Tigers call the first time out of the half. And I want to remind you once again that all eyes are on the Eastern Division as the champion will earn the chance to host the 8th Annual SIAC Football Championship on November the 16th. Fans, you can visit www.thesiac.com for official conference and championship game gear. Get your tickets today. We came to this game with the number two and number three rush offenses and rush defenses in the league. Both teams have rushed the ball very well. Albany State 131 yards rushing. Savannah State 124 yards rushing. And the top two running backs have run well as well. Habersham 71 yards on 10 carries for Albany State. Durham 76 yards on 15 carries for Savannah State. Along with two touchdowns. Habersham has a touchdown for Albany State. Third in the yard. Durham, left side, first down and more across the 45 in the Albany State territory. Durham, inside the 20 to the 10, five times, touchdown Savannah State. 62 yards to Angelo Durham, his third of the game. Durham's longest run of the season. And Angelo Durham is over 135 yards rushing today. We'll go in to try the extra point. It is up and good. So Savannah State, three plays, they go 71 yards. 11.39 to go in the third quarter. Savannah State leading Albany State 21-13. Here on Flow Sports. Savannah State trying to break a long losing streak to Albany State. 15 straight wins for Albany State in this series. That little Golden Rams lead 43-15-2. Durham now with 138 yards on 16 carries. Three touchdowns. Durham has been a workhorse for Savannah State today and just picked up his third touchdown of the, the game. His eighth of the season. So now Albany State facing one of its largest deficits during this five-game streak. Shard Jordan back deep along with Folks. And this one will come down towards Folks. He hits it at the 21. Folks steps inside and across the 30 to the 34-yard line. 
And that is where Omni State will start its next possession. So just a minute and 28 seconds come off the clock on that drive by Savannah State. Three plays and a huge third down conversion. So the Rams trailing by eight, still a one possession game. First down with 11.32 remaining. In the third. Kamari Darrington here with James Crenshaw, the producer. Great to have you with us on homecoming weekend here at Savannah State University. 2019 edition as this handoff is to Scott with a nice first half. And Scott still fighting for yardage. He got back to the original line of scrimmage, and that was it. Now the Savannah State defense with some momentum. No gain on that play for Scott. He's got 38 yards now on six carries. That'll be second down. And time out for the official. And one of the gold Rams is shaking up. I'm trying to see the number. It's like number 60 for Albany State. That is Sean Buchanan starting left tackle for the Golden Rams. So he'll come over to the sideline and Albany State will have second and 10 from their own 34. Six three two eighty five pound junior out of Jackson, Mississippi. Transfer from Southwest Community College. Scott in the backfield with Bono. Second and ten. Three wide outs for Albany State. Eight point lead for the Tigers. Bono fakes the pitch, comes inside. Nice gain. All the way across the 40. Left at the 43 yard line. That one good for nine yards. It's going to be third and a yard. With the big third down. Albany State has yet to convert a third down. They're 0 for 6 on third downs today. Abersham and Bono in the backfield. Now Bono splits out. Here's Habersham. Got the first down. And he's out to the 44-yard line. That's going to be a first down for Albany State. All he needed a yard and he got it. That's their initial third down conversion of the game. That's the first time they've converted the third down. And so it takes the ball to the 44-yard line. Nine first downs now for Albany State. First down. Savannah State show blitz. Bono on the run. Pass is complete. That one good to Jerron Woot. And that's going to be another first down to the 44-yard line. 12-yard pickup. Nice job by Bono to get that ball out. Now four for 12. Wooten with his first catch of the game. Albany State trying to hold themselves closer. It's a Scott. Scott trying to right side. Brown was right there right away. 43-yard line. End of a yard. It'll be second and ten, second and nine. We've got some more pushing and shoving. These are two longtime rivals. Savannah State trying to prove that they belong here in this league. And they are playing tough, hanging tough right now and leading the Golden Rams of Albany State. 8.30 left in the third quarter, second down and nine. Bono to throw, looking right side, incomplete. Tried to hit Jordan. Uh, that will be third. That will be third. And, and we've got a flag at the end of the play. Was, I'm not sure what that was about. 
And Bono is down and he is hurt. Fred Reigns was back there holding his. And let's see what the flag is. Is that rough in the passer? See, there's the incompletion. Well, this could be a big penalty here against Savannah State. All I saw was Bono was down and he is limping off the sideline. The backup today is Edward Walker. Edward Walker is a freshman from Tampa, Florida. What a spot for him to be in. If he has to come in, at least have to come in right now, they're trying to warm him up along the sideline. Calias Williams, the original starter, has been in and out of the lineup. So now the third string quarterback will come into the game. So no penalty on the play. So it's her town. So Walker into the game now in a spot where he will have to come through here. This is a tough spot for the freshman. Those Rams one for seven on third down. Just converted their last one. It's third and nine. Got to get to the 34. Freshman has got to come in. Bono shaking up on the play. Let's see what they do here. And Walker's going to come up firing. Oh, Walker's going to run for it. Can he get there? He is short. Got to the 36 yard line. It's going to be fourth and two. Do they try to get the first down with the freshman or are they going to punt it? So Walker. Fourth down. And they're going to go for it. Interesting move here by head coach Dave Giardini. He's got some, he's got confidence in his, uh, his freshman QB. And off to Scott. Scott hit in the backfield. Walter Yates made the stop, and that's a turnover on downs, and the ball will go back to Savannah State. He got absolutely nothing. In fact, he lost a yard. Did Scott. Scott was blown up. What a great play by Walter Yates, the team's leading tackler coming into the, into the game. 40 tackles coming in, and a turnover on downs will give the ball to Savannah State at their own 37. Younger fans may not realize how important this is for Savannah State's alumni. It's, it's been a long time since the Tigers have beaten the Golden Rams. Right now, halfway through the third, Savannah State with a hefty lead. An eight-point lead right now. Hardage in the game. Bellamy in motion. And Hardage fakes the pitch, tries to come left side, and he'll lose a couple on the play. Bring up second down. JT Hardage. JT Hardage. His fifth carry. That one loses two. Second and 12 now. Well, neither one of these offenses like to be behind the chains, especially when the Savannah State doesn't throw the ball a lot. They've actually thrown the ball seven times between two quarterbacks today. Ideally, they don't like to throw it. They don't like to throw it. Here's Durham. And out to the 40-yard line. Pick up a five. Going to bring up a third down. Durham now up to 143 yards. Well, actually, Mark has the 41-yard line. So now Durham at 144. Third and seven. Got to get the ball to the 48. 6.30 left in the third. Hardridge on the roll. Pulls it down. And now he's going to try to run for it. And he has... Flags are everywhere now as they come in late. Where do they mark it first? 
That's what I want to know. Flags are everywhere. Let's see what this is all about. Looked like was able to get the first down. And they actually did mark it at the 44-yard line. So, 48-yard line, I should say. But is this going to come back? Looking at the reaction to Albany State sideline. Savannah State leading by eight. That's the midway point in here in the third. They have left for the fourth quarter. penalty against a 15 yard penalty against Albany State for a late hit and then a 10 yard penalty against Savannah State and an automatic first down for the late hit so let's see you know, so we'll bring it back to the should bring it back to the 31 basically Savannah State Lost five yards on the play. Picks up five yards on the play. That's what's going on. So it will be a first down. At the 46. Why did they penalty wise for Albany State? Six penalties for 100 yards. Savannah State had five penalties for 71 yards. Hardage on first down. We'll take it up the middle. Across midfield. First down and more. Hardage out of the 30-yard line. I mark it at the 29. And move the chains again. And JT Hardage is making things happen here. 25 more yards. is on the move again. Savannah State looking to extend their lead. 5.49 left to play. Homecoming weekend here at Savannah State. Artists, handoff this time goes up the middle. Joe Boykin. So Jordan Grant with the carry. Down to the 18-yard line. That one's good for another first down. So back to that first down. First carry of the green for Grant. And a freshman from Savannah. He gets another carry. This time he's tripped up. No gain on the play. Second and ten for Savannah State. Savannah State looking for its first win over Albany State since 1991. Looking for its second straight win. Albany State on a five-game win streak, trying to keep pace with Fort Valley State in the East. Hardish, the pitch. Carter, inside the five for the goal line. Touchdown! And now it's Carter. 18 yards, and Savannah State extends the lead. Savannah State fans, I love, 
Actually, no touchdown. Sorry to say that. So take the six off the board. I got it down to the three-yard line. So that's actually a 15-yard pickup. It's first and goal. Well, actually, that, that was a touchdown. So it was, it was a touchdown. Sorry about that. Extra points up and good. So it was a touchdown for Carter. That got me confused over here. So man, the State now, 28-13 leaders. Um, Albany State, you're watching SIAC football on Flow Sports. Marcus Foltz with that last return takes it to the 35-yard line, a return of about 16 yards. For Foltz, Golden Rams trailing by 15, Savannah State of 28 to 13. Kamari Darrington here with James Crenshaw. Walker still in the game at quarterback for Albany State. And the handoff goes to Habersham, and Habersham Takes it to the 37 yard line. So now, with Walker in the game, you would expect that Savannah State will really try to attack his offensive line for Albany State. Abisham now 74 yards. Albany State led most of the first half 13 to 7. Savannah State late in the first half was able to get a touchdown to make it 14-13. They scored 21 unanswered points on the Golden Rams. One of the highest point totals Albany State has given up all season. Walker off the fake and he's dragged down from behind by Gates. He's made the stop at the 38. In the yard, it'll be third and seven. On the state, one for eight on third downs coming into this play. Second carry for Walker. I might have to throw it here on uh, third down and seven. 254 remaining here in the third quarter. Walker surveying the field now. Blitz, they pick it up, and here comes the secondary blitz. Ridley got there along with KJ Singleton. It'll be fourth down. Lost all the way back to the 29 yard line. That is a nine yard loss. Another sack for this defense. Now fourth and 16. The line is to punt. This will be number five for him. And Carter standing back at his own 25. Carter calls for a fair catch and he makes it at the 26 yard line. I want to remind you again, watch your favorite SIAC bands get down all season long on flowmarching.com. Head to www.flowmarching.com during halftime of today's game. You can also watch exclusive content in our kind of from the 27 yard line, Savannah State trying to add to their lead now. Two minutes left in the third quarter. And now, with a 15 point lead, you got to think the Tigers are going to be working on that clock. Looking to go to 4 0 and SIAC play 5 3 overall. And snap a long losing streak to Albany State. Here's Bellamy. Bellamy, right side, up to the 40 yard line. Mark it at the 39, 12 yards for Bellamy, and another first down. The momentum clearly now in favor. Clearly now in favor of Savannah State. It's 15 first downs now for Savannah State. Albany State has 10. 125 left here in the third. 
Thank you to Bellman this time. Here's Hardish. First down and more. Cut down at midfield. Uh, mark it up to 48. That's another first down. 12 more yards. This offense is moving. So Hardish has come in here in the second half. Really providing a spark offensively. Actually came in through the second quarter. Getting standing on the sideline. Hardish is a hot hand right now, so Sean Quinn has decided to stick with him. And this paid off. Of course, the running of D'Angelo Durham, that big 62-yarder earlier, picks his way. Of course, the 45, they'll mark it at the 47. Two more yards there. 18 carries for 146 yards now for D'Angelo. Second and eight. And Savannah State attempt to work on that clock. And we are ready to go to the fourth quarter. Three big touch, 21 points for Savannah State in that third quarter. And as we go to as we go to the fourth, Savannah State leading Albany State 28 to 13. You're watching SIAC football on Flow Sports. Back here for the fourth quarter, Savannah State holding a 28 to 13 lead on Albany State. Come on, Dan. Here, James Crenshaw, producer. We expected the running games to be the story. Right now, Savannah State 252 yards rushing to Albany State's 142. Of course, D'Angelo Durham 146 yards rushing and three touchdowns. Savannah State four for eight on third downs. Albany State just one for nine on third downs. Heading into this fourth quarter. Just 20 total yards for Albany State in that third quarter. The fourth quarter begins with a second and eight at the 47 yard line. Hardage and Durham in the backfield. So now Savannah State in complete control. Hardage right side and he is hit in the backfield. Back near midfield. They'll mark it at the 49 yard line. It's going to be third down. The question now if you're all in the state when you get the ball offensively, is are you able to, are you able to move the ball? Uh, right now. All in the state. They were struggling with the ball. Like moving the ball with Walker in the game and that Bono. At least you know Bono can run as well. Walker pretty much know what's gonna happen when he's got the ball as he's got the ball right now. And Hardage after Durham goes in motion, gets it to the 45 yard line. Good for four yards, but that's gonna be short. Oh the first down. Four yards for Hardage. As again, rain begins. So we'll go back in punting formation. This will be punt number five for him. And Jordan standing at his own ten. Rain drops begin to fall again here in Savannah. We've had rain off and on throughout the day. Lugo's punt. Jordan makes the fair catch at the nine yard line. And that's where Albany State will begin this offensive possession. You can keep up with the latest news and updates regarding SIAC Athletics by visiting the official website of the Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Conference at www.thesiac.com. State trying to get some going offensively, starting at their own nine yard line. 13.36 remaining in the fourth quarter. 21 unanswered points for Savannah State. They're all being stated a 13 to 7 lead. A midway point of the first half. Wow. 
Our third quarterback, Scott and Habersham, are the running back. Next Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern time, Kentucky State visits Miles. Kentucky State on a roll. Miles suffering a loss after back-to-back wins. That's a big game in the SIAC West. That'll be next Saturday. High snap, Walker. Pitches it at the last second to Habersham. Habersham with room to run. Across the 15, gets it out to the 16-yard, 17-yard line. That could have been a disaster for Albany State. And now the rain is really coming down hard, and these fans are trying to get out of Dodge. Second and a couple. Walker, pitch again. This time it's to Scott, and Scott has room across the 30. Still going all the way out to the 35-yard line. So two big runs in a row. That one good for 18. Another first down for Albany State. Your defensive team, you're up by 15. You do not want to. You don't want to give in at this point. Still got plenty of time left in this ball game. And for Albany State, just keep doing what you're doing right now. Two good plays to here to start this drive. From 35, and we got false start. First and 15 now after the penalty. Maximum to the 30. Seven penalties for 120 yards today. For Albany State. 125 yards, I should say, on eight penalties. Walker over the middle, incomplete. That is man there. Just couldn't hang on to it. Ralph Love it, the intended target. We had exactly 12 minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Tigers leading by 15. <laughs> Albany State trying to get back in it. Walker in at quarterback, Bono, the starting quarterback injured early on in the second half. Walker picks up the fumble snap and throws it, and it is caught. That one is complete. Christopher Sparks makes the catch out to the 32 yard line. A couple of yards there for Sparks. So now, third down, two yards on the game. Third and 13. Almost stay one for nine on third down. Big play of Albany State's going to get back in this game. I wonder if it's four down territory. Walker, wide snap, he collects it. Looking right, left side, now back to the right side. Now throws over the middle, and the pass is complete. He hits Christian Grant, the tight end. And that's going to be good enough for a first down at the 48-yard line. 16 more yards. So a big third down conversion, just the second of the game. That's his first catch of the game. 16 yards. This time Walker takes it himself. And he is cut down at the 50. Picks up two. It'll be second down. Golden Rams finally over 200 yards of offense. Savannah State 305, Albany State at 233. Second and eight. Marcus sends Habersham in motion. He goes straight up the middle and cut down there at the 48 yard line. That will be good for two more. 
Nice little play call there. They, they sent Habersham out. Tried to go up the middle of Walker. They're in the Savannah State territory. You gotta think now with under 10 minutes left. And now 15. It's gotta be third down territory. Still, you still gotta get another possession. Third down. Got to get it to the 42 for a first down. On the third six, Walker, under pressure, escapes, hit as he throws it, and it's incomplete. Big hit on the play by Brian Roberts. And it's going to be fourth down. And they're going to punt it. Looks like they're going to punt it at this point. Fourth down. We have a flag down. Let's see what that's all about. Whoa. Flags are down. It's for third. It's third down. Fourth down at the moment, but it's a long discussion here with the officials. Sportsmanlike conduct penalty, and that is going to give Savannah Albany State a first down. It's going to take it all the way to the 33 yard line. So Albany State now with some life here, trailing by 15. Walker, nice drive here by the Golden Rams quarterback. Aversham in motion. Walker, he'll take it himself again. Got to the 30 yard line. They'll mark it right at the 31. Two second now. They've tried that play a couple of times. It's been somewhat successful. Got positive yardage. Two yard gain on the play. Couple of subs coming in now. Off the bench for Albany State Boot coming in, coming to the near side. He'll join Jordan in this pattern. Scott in the backfield with Habersham now at Wildcat quarterback. And he'll take it himself. Habersham gets inside the 25. Look at him carrying tacklers all the way to the 21 yard line. 10 big yards for Habersham. That's another first down. Habersham, 84 yards rushing in his return to Savannah. First time in his career he's playing against his hometown team, so having a great day. Redshirt senior from Memorial Day High School. And Habersham now in at quarterback again. Scott in the backfield. And Scott gets the handoff coming left side. He's got room inside the 10. Cuts it out. Touchdown, Albany State. What a drive by the Golden Rams. Tracy Scott from 21 yards out, and this game is not over. It's back down to a 10-point game, a 9-point game. So a huge play there is Tracy Scott. Breaks it outside, great blocking on the outside. Down to nine. The Linus will come in and try to make it an eight-point game. 823 left to go. Snap rolls in. Oh, it's picked up the Linus. Has to has to eat it inside the 20-yard line. And that is a tough play to go against Albany State. And now they're down by nine. 
You're watching SIAC football on Flow Sports. Eight thirteen left to play in the fourth quarter. And Savannah State will start this drive at the eighteen yard line. The, the kickoff went down to the ten yard line. Carter brought it out to the eighteen. This extra point looming large here. Two field goals instead of the touchdowns. Therefore, Albany State now a nine-point game. And it's Hardage across the 20. Ball comes out at the end, did it? Albany State saying they've got the football. Hardage will take it out to the 23-yard line. That was close to being a, a huge penalty. Penalty, but a fumble. It's never easy in the SIAC to come out with a win. All right, it wasn't ready for the snap, but he'll take it anyway. And he is hit at the 22 yard line. So again. Hard is now 11 carries for 54 yards. And that one goes for no game. And third down. This will be the first third down attempt of the quarter. Of the second half for Savannah State. They were four for eight on third downs in the first half. Actually, they're in the four of nine now, so they had a third down convert attempt early. It's a quick drive here. Nine-point game. Still plenty of time left. Hand off to Bellamy. Bellamy breaks it. Oh, big hit. Near the 27 yard line. That's going to be short of the marker by a yard. Trying to beat a team for the first time in nearly 20 years. Oh, that is going to be enough for a first down. And marked at the 29. Wait a minute. And marked at the 29. That one good for seven. So Bellamy, another big play. Another third down conversion. 17 first downs now for the Tigers. So a chance to run some more time off the clock. So a near fumble and near stop. But the Tigers still have the football. Gibbons now at quarterback. Carter goes in motion, a hand to Carter, and Carter breaks it across the 30, 32 yard line. That one good for three yards. Four straight runs. You're gonna definitely see Savannah State try to run now. They're in control of the game, point lead. This extra point. Savannah State in control. Obviously, it has all three of their timeouts. And now the, the key is getting the ball back. 5.43 remaining. Carter goes in motion again. Hand off to Durham. Durham right side. Across the 35. They just keep triculating the ball down the field here. Four more for D'Angelo. Now 150 yards rushing on 19 carries at the hat trip with the touchdown. We come up on five minutes remaining. Timeout, Albany, Savannah State. 
on this third and three. The SIAC is the first NCAA league to have a league-wide apparel deal with Nike. Fans can get official Nike conference gear at www.thesiac.com. Albany State fans get your school's gear at www.asugoldenrams.com. And Savannah State fans get your school's gear at www.ssuathletics.com. Savannah State leading by nine, facing a third down and three. Got to get to the 39-yard line for a first down. Savannah State, one timeout left. Albany State has all three timeouts. So a big play in the game. Still time left. But Albany State needs two possessions in five minutes. It's going to be difficult here if they don't get this stop on third down. Albany State currently 5 for 10 on third down. White split out here to the top. Savannah State going to go with that quick huddle. Durham. Tries the middle, and he's hit in the backfield. They lost two yards to the 35-yard line. And I wonder if Albany State's going to use a timeout here. And they do. Albany State down to two timeouts. It's going to be fourth and four. Once again, a reminder, next Saturday, a big matchup in the SIAC West. Kentucky State will take on Miles. That game will start at 3 p.m. Eastern time. On close court. Durham now 20 carries for 150 yards. Three touchdowns. 444 left to play. It looks like it's going to be another punt, back to back punts in this game. So. Sixth punt upcoming here for Lugo and Jordan standing back at his own 25. Interesting results today in the SIAC. Kentucky State winning 12 0 over Edward Waters. Morehouse 34 13 on Benedict. That kick almost blocked. They had one block last week. Jordan says get away from it. And that one is a touchback. And we've got a flag on the play. And that's against that's against Albany State. That's going to be a first down. They ran to the kicker. It's going to be a first down. Now they're pointing. It's fourth. It was fourth down. It's fourth and four. Penalty flags down. Anna State's offense preparing to come back out on the field. Now Albany State is pointing, saying that it's against Savannah State. So we're going to find out here. Interesting point in the game right now. Looks like Albany State's defense is staying on the field. What's going to happen here? I'm going to come over to Savannah State and explain this. It's a hold against Savannah State. So it's still going to be fourth down and mark it 10 yards off. And from the spot of the foul, it's going to be fourth and 14. So I'm going to replay the down. A lot of penalty yards today. Combined for 226. So Lugo to punt it again. Jordan again standing in zone 25. This one a little shorter. And get away from it. An Albany State player is down at the 37 yard line. And that is where Albany State will start this next drive. 426 remaining. 
here in the fourth quarter. Over the Central State with a 15-13 win over Miles. Fort Valley State taking the lead at this point in the East. The 34-27 win on Clark Atlanta. And it's going to come down in the East of the Mountain City Classic in two weeks. Fort Valley State will take on Albany State. The winner will host the SIAC Championship game on the 16th. Next two weeks, we'll decide to eat the West as Kentucky State will visit Miles. And Miles visits Tuskegee. And Miles visits Tuskegee on November the 9th. Right here. It's a nine-point lead. Walker looking to throw over the middle. Incomplete. And here comes a flag late. Chart Jordan was the intended target. The flags are down. Roberts was on the coverage. There's a look over the middle. And tri they got tripped up. They're going to pick this flag up here. And we're going to be 15 yards for Albany State. So, man, the State fans saying it's incidental contact. I'm not sure they're going to get the call they want right here. Now, he could make this just a spot foul. But now they're going to move it up to the 48. It's going to be first down. Savannah State, so. Well, Golden Rams have it first and 10 at the 48-yard line. We've got 421 left to play. Albany State scores here quickly. Going to get very interesting. Rams have two timeouts remaining. Habersham, left side. And he's quickly wrapped up by Rodgers right at the 48. Did not get anything on that one. Well, this is it here for Albany State. Second down. Here's Walker under pressure. And he's sat from behind. Aaron Robinson, who ended the game last week, sacks him back at the 48 yard line, a loss of four. And it's going to be third down. Aaron Robinson. Third and 14. Third and 14, got to get the ball all the way to the Savannah State 38. Here's Walker. Steps up. He's going to have to run for it, and he's tackled at the 46. That one is good for six yards. And now Walker is hurt. And it's going to be fourth and eight. With 3.03 remaining. Walker with six yards. He earned every bit of it. He is shaking up with 3.03 remaining in the fourth quarter. Flow Sports is the innovator in live digital sports and original content. Flow Sports streams thousands of live events on the network's 20 plus channels. Go to www.flowsports.tv to start watching today. Flow Sports will exclusively stream over 50 SIAC events this season. So they're tending down to Walker. Basically, if Walker can't go, he'll have to come to the sideline. It's going to be, I believe, Hambersham and the Wildcat now. She so comes off to the sideline. So Albany State. I'm going to go for it on this fourth down. They missed the only fourth down attempt so far. And 
Let's see who's going to take the snap here. Looks like it's going to be Abersham. Abersham has thrown a pass this year, so we'll see if he does it again right here. So fourth down. And now you're down to your third string quarterback. And that's your starting running back. So fourth and eight. Real three remaining. Desmond Young with that sack. He, he was all over, he been all over the field here. Young six tackles. Yates has 11 tackles for Savannah State. Here it comes. Fourth and eight. Wooten comes in motion. Amber Sham will throw. They set up a screen pass to one of the linemen. That's a legal pass. Ball is out. It's picked up by Young. No whistle. This will seal it for the Tigers. Desmond Young puts it away. Touchdown, Savannah State. The pass was behind the line of scrimmage. And just as it did last week, the Savannah State defense puts the capper on a win here, this time at home at Savannah. There's a flag on the play all the way back at the midfield stripe. So let's check the flag. Young picked it up at around the 43 yard line. So we'll give him that to match his number. And the Tigers are going to get their first win over Savannah State, over Albany State. And that is a touchdown for the Tigers. And time to post for pictures here at homecoming weekend. Savannah State Tigers. Google's extra point is up and good. 35-19, Savannah State on top of Albany State as we get to set for next week. Kentucky State will take on Miles. Again, we'll be at 3 p.m. Eastern time. We have a long way to go in deciding the Western Division. And then on November the 9th, we'll have two games. Clark Atlanta at Morehouse in the East Division Battle. That will be followed up by also Miles at Tuskegee with the winner. Perhaps facing the East Champion in the SIAC title game. But what a story here for Savannah State. The Tigers went 2-8 and eight last year in their final season in the MEAC. But 1-6. They were picked to finish last in the league. They did not have any players on the preseason all SIAC team. And here they are, eight weeks later, looking to go to five and three and stay unbeaten at four and oh. This loss for Albany State puts Fort Valley State in front in the East with two weeks to go. Albany State next week is at Morehouse. Savannah State will host Fort Valley State. Savannah State spoil their undefeated record in league play. Brooks takes it from the 25, comes up the sideline and is pushed out of bounds at the 37. What a story. Savannah State. So many years of obscurity. The program is they ran on some very difficult times for a while. They lived in the 2000s. People thought that this program was going to be perhaps completely out of it. What a year this year for Savannah State and the first year for Sean Quinn.
Aversham hands it off to Brooks. Nice run here by Brooks. He gets it across midfield. All the way to the 45 yard line. So Brooks not giving up easily here. Over the 30, over the 45 yard line. That one gets to 17. Two left here in the fourth quarter. Brooks again, come left side, and this time he stopped for no gain. Savannah State, the last time they defeated Albany State was 1991. time for Savannah State against a lot of these teams in the SIAC East, but here they are. About to get a huge win here at home. Here's Brooks to the 47-yard line. Sorry, 42-yard line, I should say. Three yards for Brooks is going to be third down. Red Range in on the stop. Final minute of this Eastern Division battle. Savannah State ran for 272 yards, 227 yards for Albany State. It's third and seven. There's Brooks, left side, and he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. It will be fourth down. No game for Brooks. One more play for the Savannah State defense to put the finishing touches on this one. And actually, they don't. Savannah State defense in the second half. Pulling through. Brooks hit. Stopped at the 40-yard line. That's going to do it. The Savannah State Tigers do something they have not done since 1991. A 15-game losing streak is over. Savannah State knocks off Albany State on homecoming weekend. 35 to 19. Congratulations to Sean Quinn and this Savannah State football team. Delangelo Durham, 20 carries, 150 yards, and those three big touchdowns. Meanwhile, for Albany State, Kenley Hammersham, 15 carries for 92 yards and the touchdown. So once again, our final score, Savannah State 35, Albany State 19. Don't forget to join us next Saturday when Kentucky State visits Miles in a big SIAC West matchup at 3 p.m. Eastern time. James Crenshaw, our producer, and our great camera people that have worked here today. Kamari Darrington saying so long from Theodore A. Wright Stadium in Savannah, Georgia. Well, you've been watching SIAC football on Flow Sports. Enjoy the rest. Erickson brings in a 14-yard grab. First and 10. Villanova will try a throwback lateral play to Daniel Smith, who's open. A Villanova special over the 50-yard line. There goes Daniel Smith all the way down the sideline. Daniel Smith dives for a Villanova touchdown. A monster play for Villanova football. Beautiful Villanova special dialed up there. They've been a tremendous team offensively and defensively in the red zone as it will be TD Iozurashaye towards the 10 into the 5 and he is in, in the end for zone. a Villanova touchdown. Great job by TD there as he just broke off left tackle and then finished with the man on him.